It's not in the cards for you. I'm pretty good at insults, and I got the internet and a lot of free time. Hey Megs, how are you today? Hey, it's Dan. <clears throat> we should hang out sometime, Dan. Since you live in Spokane, you know these hot nurses or whatever. <clears throat> I just thought I'd have a little live chat. Oh, are they? Uh, what do you go to school for? I'm good, I'm good. I'm just hanging out. Uh, it's going to be dinner in like uh, 45 minutes, so that I do something with my time. Social science is how exciting. Like society stuff. No, I don't remember what's for dinner. Probably something pretty good. Yesterday it was uh, pizza roll-ups. They were in like uh, like this real flaky dough, like a bunch of pizza meat, like pepperoni and sausage, like cut up sausage. Like, yeah, it was good. I can't really do anything. I can't walk much. I can walk around the block a little bit, but I can't go on my big walks because of my feet. But they're healing. So I've been gaining weight. So I can't really walk around when I got wounds on my feet. I showed you the picture on my community tab of the yellow socks and... Yeah, you know, um, it, I don't heal as quickly. So... Um, I'm trying to heal. I use a whole bunch of ointment and lotion and like a pumice seed salve or something. All I've heard of it is my feet feel better. Uh, but the bad part is I can't really walk around right now. They're, they recommended me not to walk around a lot. They said around the block was fine, but like doing those mile upon things from that. Miles and miles and miles. <clears throat> My blood sugar has been coming down though. It's like 160, 200 range. It used to be a hell of a lot higher. Hello. So I've been just walking around the block to get exercise. It's not really doing much for me. But it's something that's better than just like sitting around. I met with this uh, chick that works at a she volunteers at a church, and she also works for the American Way as a volunteer. It's kind of a volunteer. She gets a stipend of $6 an hour. But I met with her, and we did talk about it religiously. It was more about, like, who I was in the community and stuff, and she really liked me. So there was a dinner there on Wednesday, and I guess there's a dinner there every Wednesday. So I'm going to possibly go to those. They had something... I had like a shepherd's pie. I went there to see if she was there and she was there. So I got my shepherd's pie and left, you know, kind of just played it cool. So um, I don't want to impose, be imposing. Maybe next time I'll sit next door. What do you guys think? She said hi to me. She was like, hi, Lucas. I could have easily just walked over and sat next door, but I didn't because I wanted to play it cool. But she said she uh, 
eats at that church every Wednesday, and she's got an EBT card, so it's like she she can't possibly be at classes. And she lives in the neighborhood with a housemate, another chick, and she reads uh, all these mystery and suspense and thriller novels, but mostly reads them from women, uh, for women. If she was gay, she would have told me, you know what I mean? She, she reads the ones that are written by women, the books written by women, so she's, like, feminist but, like, nice. So, I don't know. She's 22. She's out of college. She's trying to become a special education te teacher. So, I don't know. Maybe I'll go over there and be nice to her. I don't know. Like, uh, try to get in good with her. If not, I'll just, when I get my ID, I'll go down to the bars, probably, because the mask mandate will be off in November, and I don't like going down there during the mask mandate. <coughs> Oh, just regaling some story about some It's not the case, it's not the it's really important. I don't know what else to really talk about right now. I haven't really been doing much. Oh, cool. Cool, cool. Thank you. I, tr I try to appeal to what I think is important. Hey, you don't look invisible to me. Possibly. talk a lot about like what I would do if I were a politician I talk a lot about like life rants raves things that I think that should be corrected I haven't gone out to eat really anything special lately. I, I went to that pho place and tried their food. They were pretty good. I don't like spending a lot of money. Um, but when I go places that I don't normally go, usually when I get my check on Mondays, I go to Subway or I go to Autolano's and only spend 10 bucks. You know, that's enough for me. Um, but then there's the $100 check that I won't be getting anymore after this month. So I'm working on trying to get a jobby job. Um, the ID's coming in the mail. I went and had my picture taken. Um, so that's gonna be, I keep asking, did I get any mail? Did I get any mail? Is the mail here? So nothing's come yet, and it's bound to come pretty soon. And then I'll be able to get a job and go, go to the bars and perhaps see what that's about. No, I'm, I'm a communist. I think that everybody should be free. I think everything should be free too. I think the world should be free. Yeah. And then my watch died the other day. It stopped ticking. I looked at it. I pressed a button and it turned back on. So I don't know what the fuck that was. I only spent 10 bucks on it. Um, yeah, sorted. You know, assorted.
They they have the Communist Party. I don't know if I want to join them or not. Maybe. <laughs> I don't really want party politics, you know what I mean? I want somebody to get in there just to fire all the politicians and give everybody a million dollars a year on a computer system for any, anything that they do, whether they work or not. I think people will just volunteer to work or not. They might not, but then they're going to be like, well, how do we get food? Then they're going to have to grow it again, or they're going to have to go, you know, we'll work at the grocery store. We'll volunteer at the grocery store if we want food. Maybe if we volunteer for them, we'll get some food, and they should surely would. I'm in my bedroom. I would probably not run, because the independent is not going to win unless they pick Democrat or Republican. That's just a sad fact of the matter. Bernie had to pick uh, Democrat, of course. Yeah, my bedroom, my bedroom is in uh, Spokane, Washington. I am in the U.S. of A. I can't stand Trump. I don't like Biden either, but I can't stand Trump. I don't know anything about the Papa, so. I haven't got a new roommate yet. I don't know, it just was a snack I acquired. I've never heard of Zachary K. Hubbard, who's that? Well, he got kicked off of Twitter. He's the only president to get kicked off of Twitter. So what does that tell you about his character? He's no Martin Luther King. He's the exact opposite, probably. Now, that would probably be more like David Duke. But he was thinking of running, too, and that's not good. What would that be like? Be ten times worse than Trump. I don't know anything about that. Oh, Joe Rogan type of guy, that's cool. Joe Rogan's funny. I don't I don't think Teddy Roosevelt he spoke in the manner of his time. Trump just came off like a buffoon, like saying raking leaves prevents forest fires and all kinds of shit like windmills cause cancer. <laughs> Not opening the borders on his first day, making it illegal for trans people to use the bathroom that they wanted to use. So, he did a lot of hateful things. He never did anything for the gay community. <clears throat> he never really did anything for the black community. He didn't do much for women. He made it harder for women. He made it harder for voters by turning a blind eye to voter suppression and in some ways encouraging it. He advocated for violence against some Americans. Why? Why do you hate Trudeau? Are you, are most, aren't most, uh, Canadians rather liberal. Are you a conservative?
Oh, okay. I, I unplugged it from the charger. That's weird. Did that just even... How about that? Eight years? Yeah, I, I, I didn't vote this last time. I don't. I don't want to vote for either one of them. But they're both weird. Hey, Jesus had long hair. Yeah, da 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 da. It's illegal here. They hate that where you, you can't think of anything to say. Yeah, I never really liked Trump. I didn't. I like Trudeau more than I like Trump. It's kind of a weird comparison since most of the liberal ones are conservative. But a lot of Canadians don't like Trudeau from the left too because things to do with indigenous people, I guess. I don't know. The politics of Canada very much. My feet are getting better. They don't hurt as much when they're wrapped up like this. So Monday they're going to take off the soft cast and replace it. Hopefully they will wash my feet or something. Because I've been in a cast for a week. It's not hard to cast. It's a cast I can still walk on. But it's a soft cast. So. They took an x-ray too to see if anything was broken. I haven't gotten the results from that. It doesn't feel like anything's broken. It's just probably a precautionary measure. I still would like a girlfriend. That'd be nice. I would still like to hang out with uh, Daniel and uh, maybe hook up with a chick or something since he knew all these chicks and he's a nurse. Daniel, send me an email, man. I haven't heard from you in a few days. Sounds like you're pretty busy. I want to know when you're coming back from Oklahoma. See, I remember shit. Oh, I've been vaccinated. Oh, a couple weeks. That's fantastic. Oh, you got sick? COVID? Oh, I hope not. You work with COVID cases or something, right? Uh, my feet uh, just kind of worn down from a lot of walking. I had a hole in the sole of both my foot and a different shoe that I used to own. And that hasn't fully healed up. And they're working on healing it. It looks real deep down there. There's no blood or anything. It's just like skin. Just a hole right through it. They were like, ooh, yeah. I, I had COVID too. Then I got vaccinated. I didn't have any symptoms though. I, they just put me in a motel for 10 days. It was actually a hotel. Oh, damn. In Oklahoma? And you're working with the COVID cases as a nurse? And this dude's like a young nurse, too. Like, he's, uh, I don't know how young he is. I think he said he was, like, 22. I, I, I wish I would have got some footage when I was in Los Angeles. I'm kicking myself for not doing that because I wanted to show the tent city. I was just too scared. I 
But by having a cell phone out, I could get robbed. I found food there while I was there too and ate it because it was in a box up on like 8th Street and it was like, uh, um, I don't know, it was canned, I don't remember what it was, but all I remember was that I ate like a bunch of food and like uh, there was a bottle of whiskey that I polished off in Los Angeles on like the gritty parts. Nothing's going to be amputated, man. Yeah, they seem to have a great wound clinic. Well, I was in Los Angeles. I was in on seventh I was on Skid Row in December. Oh, I don't need to fight him, I fight him every day. I'm 41, I'll be 42 on November 27th of this year. 42! It's kind of like the APS Lucky birthday. <laughs> if you know anything about the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy and Douglas Adams. It's a number that we all celebrate as one. <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm getting up there though. 42 is the answer. Maybe I'll get laid this year. How's my hair? I need to take another shower. Showering is laborious with these things. Oh my goodness. You gotta, I gotta wrap up my feet. I'll probably do it tomorrow. Don't panic, right? Yeah. Hey, checkers, guys. Don't panic. Well, I haven't had one since March. But I went in the other day and uh, uh, basically just have my picture taken and my social security looked up and they're gonna send it to me. I might have it now, it might have come, I don't know. It's probably gonna come next week or the week after. Yeah, the movie sucks horribly. Do you worry that your kids will have anything that wrong with you that you have with your kids? I'm sure you do. Three to five weeks. Oh, okay, well, then fuck it. I'm going to keep asking. Yeah, but I'm sure you have something other than diabetes. Everybody's got something. Nobody's perfectly perfect. Acne problems, something. Alex Lynch. What is that name? Is this the Alex that I know from... Malin, please. No, everybody's got some men. men. No, your your telomeres are not in perfect shape. Nobody's are. Plus, millennials are more telomere retreated than Generation X, and Generation Z are more telomere retreated than millennials. Well, okay, but yeah, but you didn't know all this shit. If you knew all this shit and you were single, you would probably change your mind. Your children are dogs. Your dog mom. That's cool. Gen Z is more telomere try than millennials. Millennials are more telomere try than. See, you always have to work in groups and stuff like that for your genius to shine through. I'm, I'm, I want it to be where you just work singularly. And achieve genius. These days it's all about groups achieving genius because the brains are broken down. But they're genius groups. Can't lie there. There's some genius groups. Occupy movement. Black Lives Matter. 
etc. Business groups, I guess, that help with people. I don't know. Political groups. Well, a lot of them are good men. You just need to be a good woman. Hopefully you're a good woman. Yeah, you don't have to create paperwork. You don't have to create kids. No one says you have to. Chickens. Chickens is a good idea. Oh, women don't want... Men don't want hateful women. End of story. Time out. Yeah, but it's, love is always worth the struggle. Yeah, not everybody likes kids. I, I, I don't blame them. They can be annoying sometimes. They're hard work. I'm, I'm an uncle. I'm gonna get a job. How many times did, did you not did you not hear me? Maybe I should just stop talking. Other people's kids. You don't like your own kids. Or you just don't want to have kids. Oh, it's how cast owls. Oh, you can't have any. Well, there's more fulfilling things in life than kids or just as fulfilling. Sure, yeah. You can adopt. Yeah, I would, I would like to have kids to be a dad because I like being an uncle. It was fun. I changed diapers. That, that part wasn't fun, but it was, you know, it was, I liked it. <laughs> well, these days, a lot of people smoke a lot. Kids are a lot of work, but so is creating art. Art is a lot of work. Playing the guitar is a lot of work. Fixing on cars is a lot of work. Everything's a lot of work. Oh, really? Are you one of the uh, downtown ambassadors or whatever? Or downtown cleanup crew? There's a lot of hot women in this town. I can't lie about that. I mean, that's kind of why I want to go to the bars. Everything is a lot of work. Oh, the clean team, yeah. I saw one guy that was on the clean team walk away with like six chicks wearing one of the, if, it was, if I'm not mistaken, a green shirt. I don't know what that was about. It was like walking up the Browns edition with like six chicks. Hot is healthy. Maybe I'll meet a chick that doesn't want to have kids and then we'll just fuck a lot. How many bars am I allowed in? All of them except for one. Well, two. Ah, well, no. Yeah, I would imagine that. It was probably somebody off his shift and he walked up and said, hey, you know, I got some pot. And he had like an ounce of it because he's got a good job. And then he carted off six chicks. Why can't people just take one? You know what I mean? Six of them. Does that leave any for the rest of us? If people are just going to cart away six chicks. Are there going to be any chicks for the rest of us? That seems a bit rude. It's, it's something where they didn't explain it. I just was like, okay. I mean, I couldn't stand up for the community enough. But... 
I do like the work. I worked at a volunteer. I worked volunteer positions before that I liked, and I just never really pursued them further. Uh, because I was taking video of people dancing, which is I got the idea from their Instagram page to do. Because people were taking video of them dancing. So I did it, and then they said they didn't want me doing that, and I said okay, and they told me not to come back. Hey. It didn't make any sense to me. I wrote them a letter and sent them a letter and said, you know, I support the community. Less chicks per dude. It needs to be just one chick per dude. Are we all going to just do that now? Are we all going to have, like... I mean, where do you go to meet the chicks? I mean, what are just around? The Stangle, you know, I want to date, like, 21-year-olds. But not really necessarily plural. I think I'd figure I'd meet one and stick with her a little while. But it seems like when you go around and you meet the guys that are into younger women, it's just all about money. There's a lot of poop on the street. <laughs> You don't know. I've seen a lot of poop on the street. A lot of dogs. A lot of people not caring for their dogs and picking up the poop. The clean crew has to go through a lot of gross stuff. They probably see more than, than their fair share. I don't know. There's 21-year-olds who want to stick around. There's poop straight up on the street on first the other day. No, money doesn't make you happy, but it'll get you hot chicks, apparently, because, yeah, what a gross society we live in. Yeah, I imagine Post and Riverside, because Post is kind of a party scene, and Riverside's kind of a party scene, too. Uh, Rydler, and then there's uh, the Bistango and uh, the Volstead Act. Yeah, actual poop, I've seen dog shit everywhere. People need to, like, they, they need to have more of a fine, if, if there is a fine in Spokane for uh, people pooping on the sidewalk, for the dogs pooping on the sidewalk. There should be. I'm not a big fan of this mayor. I'm not a big fan of the Republican leadership of anywhere. You'll notice that there's a lot of, like, hooker hotels in Spokane, and there's never really been a Democrat in charge. There's a lot of meth addicts. There's never really been a Democrat in charge. I walked around and I was like, oh, there's a lot of age gappers around there. I've, I've walked around some nights and only seen age gappers. Uh, so I looked around and I was like, wow, there's an actual scene of like older guys with younger women. I wish some of these guys would, would thank me. I, I helped them a little bit and I kind of laughed to myself about how open it is. Twenty-one-year-olds. Uh, yeah, the the major nights for that are Monday through Thursday. I've noticed for the uh, whole like forty-five to twenty-one-year-old gap range, you got to go late at night, uh, an hour or two before the bars are gonna close, and uh, Mondays through Thursdays are the best time to catch footage of that. And you can see it at any of the bars. They're they're pretty open-minded chicks. I'm interested. That's cool. I like Gonzaga's people. I really do. I would visit Cuba. I don't know. Oh, I'm sure that it wasn't daughters. Two of them in a bar together where the guy was dressed up all nice. I've seen a guy with white hair walking around holding hands with this 21-year-old. I saw a guy... When I like hit up like three chicks and like go eat dinner with one, go to try to get a drink with another, and they're all different dudes. I've seen a, I've seen nights where it's like all those dudes downtown. There's like two dudes that uh, that have gray hair that are hanging out at Fast Eddie's all the time on the outskirts when it's still bright outside, and then they go around during day and pick up like twenty one year old chicks. I know this town. I, I I've seen a lot of things like that. I just didn't really have the. I, I, people will either accuse me of being creepy for wanting to videotape, but you videotape things going on around town. I should vi be able to videotape things about 
around town without being harassed by click attacks, dumbass. Because I want to prove a scientific theory. Uh, but I, I've seen, like, a lot of the age gap in this town. I've seen a lot of older women and younger men, too. Maybe it's a scene that nobody really talks about or nobody really even knows about. You got to go out every night from Monday through Thursday. 21-year-old. Pretty hot. They might be. Uh, there's a lot of gold diggers out there. You think they're cute, then all of a sudden they're with a guy that's got a nice car and gray hair, and you're there like, uh, yeah, that's not anything to do with money. I can't stand gold diggers. It's a hustle, and it leaves other people that don't have a lot of money out of the loop. But I, I suppose that there there is enough for all of us. If the money takes some, maybe the money won't take it all. You can always hope among a communist, socialist, and anarchist generation of Generation Z that are like 25 down to 18-year-olds when they're adults right now. It's kind of, it is kind of a secret age gap society. Hi, Holly. How are you? There's a lot of different scenes. There's a lot of, like, interracial scenes and stuff. Spokane's kind of cool in that way. Maybe it's like that everywhere now. I don't know. Probably beer. Probably beer and martinis would be my guess. Wine with the women. White wine. No toes have fallen out. I would love to hang out with guys that are into that whole age gap scene that are picking up the 21-year-olds because I've seen them. I just don't know them, so I don't know what to do. Got a guy on the clean team here. He might be married. There's, there's a lot of white women. There's a lot of beautiful black women. Not very often. I'd say there's not enough black women. No, I don't. I just, it's dangerous down there and I don't want to get hurt. Like, I don't want somebody to see me and be like, oh, we hate Lucas and beat me up. Because it's happened to me twice. It's like I don't stand up for Black Lives Matter enough. There's a reason why I said that. There's a hypocrites wherever you go. Too many white... Oh, too many white women. Yeah, but I wasn't kicking it in Skid Row for all that long. I was only there for like two nights. See a 48-year-old with an 18-year-old. I would like to be a part of that. I'm a little jealous. There's not too many black women. I'm... Oh, are you in Spokane? Like, if you're... If you know younger women, being that there's so many of them into older guys in this town that are my age and older, hit me up over the email and maybe we can hang out sometime. Because I would like to meet those young women, too. I mean, the older guys seem to be doing all right in this town. The gray hairs. They're... It's not about things that it usually is with guys. If you're eloquent enough, it doesn't matter. Yeah, it's mostly white. But I've seen a lot of... Yeah, the black guys do their fair share. They swoop up their honeys, but, you know, who cares? You know what I mean? Uh, companionship and friendship at first and sexual partner. Dynamic, perhaps. Who knows? I'm nice. I'm a nice guy. Are uh, you going to make fun of nice guys and assholes over the internet? Because that's just hypocritical 14-year-old Reddit shit. Punk bitches. Talk shit. (laughs) 
No, I've already dated my own age group. No, I want to date women that are younger than me. I don't, I, I can't stand Reddit. Just ask your question, what's up? What's wrong with dating outside the age range, though? How about, do I go up to people and say, you shouldn't be gay? No, I don't do that. What's wrong with dating the opposite sex, though? Do I do that? No. So don't chastise me for my preferences. Nothing. I guess I would be alone. What, what The answer is obvious. If you don't pour water into a cup, what's going to happen to the cup is it's going to remain empty. What do you think is going to happen if I don't find someone? I'll be alone. Who cares, right? You guys don't care. I don't know what to say except I know where the age gap scene is in Spokane. I don't have a lot of money, I don't have a lot of time, I'm Gen X, they're dating Gen Z, Lower Post Street. And then you'll walk past me and say, oh, Lower Post Street, and I'll say, hey, and you'll ignore me. Because you keep doing that, bitches. Why the fuck else would I be an atheist? As an, uh, as an older guy interested in younger males and a... a libtard or whatever you want to call me.